This is your Royal Fidelity Business News. I'm Jiminita Swain. The Bahamas Chamber of Commerce and the Employees Confederation has a new CEO. Businessman Edison L. Sumner is set to take the helm. Sumner is founder and CEO of IB Solutions International Limited. High Justice Cooper made the announcement Tuesday. Current CEO of the BCCEC, Winston Rule, is set to leave at the end of March. Sumner takes over the position on April 1st. The BCCEC prides itself on being the voice of the business community. Its focus for 2013 will include small business and economic development and innovation and competitiveness. One bank is making the process of getting a loan pay off in more ways than one. Fidelity Bank is introducing a new money-back loan where customers can actually expect a refund of a portion of their loan and earn 5% interest on the sum as they pay their loan off. Fidelity expects the new product to gain a lot of attention from Bahamian consumers who are looking for creative ways to save while making major personal investments. The new loan product is available now to qualifying customers at Fidelity locations in Nassau, Freeport and Abaco. And if you're planning on buying a new iPhone or iPad anytime soon, you may want to hold off. The techies at the gadget website www.imar.com are saying that a new iPhone 5S could hit Apple retailers as early as this August and a new iPad, the iPad 5, sometime around April. Apple intends to update the processor on the iPhone 5 and may even add a fingerprint scanner to go along with the improved optics and call quality. The updates for the new iPad are less clear, Although industry insiders are pretty sure they're coming with something new, as news of the new iPad accessories were leaked recently. The site says it's unlikely Apple will increase prices anytime soon. That was a look at your Royal Fidelity Business News. I'm Jimmy Swain.